Well, Steve, the good news is that the fire is out now. Fire officials tell us that six people were displaced from the building that actually burned. Another seven were displaced. This apartment complex right next door. When you're launching a home improvement project, quality lumber from our drive through lumber yards makes all the difference. At Beltane's Building Supply, you'll find a wide selection of the lumber and building materials you need for any project. Visit us at Beltane's.com or any of our nine locations door which as you can see sustained some serious damage to its siding we're told both of these are three unit apartment complexes now take a look at this video this is from earlier this afternoon obviously heavy flames and smoke coming from that building early this afternoon fire crews tell us they got the call at about a quarter to four for a fire on elm street now this building is on elm street between cheney place and welsh avenue we're told that everyone made it out safely which is great news now again there was heavy smoke and flames coming from that building earlier. The fire chief tells us that a few pets were trapped inside and died, but again, luckily, no humans were injured in this fire. Now, firefighters did have a tough time with the heat. We're told one firefighter was treated for heat exhaustion, but he is expected to be okay. Neighbors tell us it was a scary scene. Extreme heat today, it's hot. You know, the guys have all this gear on. Um, yeah, this, the heat and the sun, is, that's why we need the manpower. We need to hydrate water. That's the toughest, toughest thing to deal with today. And taking a live look again, you can see this building is just completely charred. We're told it's a total loss. Now, ironically enough, this was supposed to be Chief Andy Parent's last day on the job. We're told he retired at noon. He was sent home. And then when this call came in, he got his uniform back on and came back out here to help out his crew. This building also has a, a bit of an eerie pass for firefighters here in Manchester. We'll touch more on that later tonight at 10 and 11. But for now, live in Manchester, Scott Cook, WMUR News 9.